Okay, it's time to do the reality check of all the points that we discussed in the video. So I'm going to discuss all those points uh, points in, in this particular research article. The title of the research article is Gingeron silences quorum sensing and attenuates virulence of pseudomonas serogenosa. So this is the title of the research article. I'm not going to go into the details of the title, but I do want to mention that uh, one of the points that that I'm mentioning in the title, for example, I'm mentioning that the virulence of pseudomonas serogenosa, right here, virulence of pseudomonas serogenosa is attenuated by gingeron. Gingeron is one of the phytochemical uh, that is responsible for the attenuation of the activity. So this is the the title of the article and uh, I have a separate video on how to construct the title of research article. You should watch that video. Uh, if you are uh, if you are uh, constructing the title of your research article all right so in this particular video we're going to focus on the introduction so i'm going to uh, move to the introduction part so this is the introduction it will have a part where you have to detail uh, uh, the scientific problem and you have to propose the hypothesis then review of literature and the final is the highlight so uh, let's start with the part 1 this is the part one where I'm mentioning that Pseudomonas serogenosa is responsible for various types of infections. So you can start uh, from uh, a particular infectious disease point of view uh, for that particular research article. If you're a research article in the area of uh, infectious diseases, right? So you can you can start with the various kinds of infection that a, that a particular bacteria is responsible for. Then then uh, here in this one. Uh, I'm proposing that infection can be uh, can be controlled by con by targeting the quorum sensing. So I have to move from infection to quorum sensing. As you can see, so I'm moving to quorum sensing, but I'm mentioning here that how infections are related with quorum sensing, uh, because quorum sensing plays a very important role in in the establishment of the infection. So you can link the quorum sensing with the infection very easily. Quorum sensing is very important for infection. And then I'm uh, giving the importance of quorum sensing. Now I have to go into the detail of my details of my hypothesis that uh, I'm going to propose. So next point that I will mention will be the details of quorum sensing because hypothesis is around the quorum sensing. Right? So this paragraph, so I'm going to go into the next uh, independent paragraph where I will mention what are the uh, important points regarding the quorum sensing. In this point, I will explain different types of quorum sensing and how they are related with virulence. In the end of this particular paragraph, I'll mention the hypothesis. In quorum sensing, there are receptor molecules and there are uh, ligand molecules. When they interact to each other, uh, uh, when they interact with each other, what happens is uh, the signaling cycle completes and uh, bacteria start producing those virulence factors, right? So my hypothesis was that the molecule is targeting that interaction and that interaction is uh, suppressing the virulence. After mentioning the hypothesis, you can, you can then move on to the molecule because I'm, I'm mentioning that this particular compound uh, uh, or natural compounds can target that interaction. So after mentioning the natural compounds, I will mention the molecule that I'm working on, right? So this is how you can construct the story. And you can see uh, right after this point, I need to mention the review of literature. This is very important point because review of literature will be in, uh, will be applied in case of every point that you are mentioning. It will be applied in ca case of quorum sensing. It will be applied in case of uh, the infectious uh, mm, uh, disease. Uh, diseases, for example, if there is any kind of uh, literature available regarding, regarding the number of infections that bacteria is causing. In this case, I will provide what are the different activities that are related with this particular phytochemical. So here I will mention that it is already known to inhibit the biofilm, it is already known to cause structural alterations. So I will review the literature, latest literature for this particular compound. After that, final point is the highlights, right? So in this case, I'm going to mention the key highlights. For example, 
Mm, in present study, uh, you can see here, in present study, we have done uh, some ligand interaction uh, interaction studies. So these are some of the points that you have to mention very clearly in your introduction. And, uh, and these points will help you to write a refined or a, a good introduction. I, uh, I will suggest you should read more research articles and uh, do some literature research to refine your writing skill because uh, you are going to spend a lot of time. If you are doing PhD, you are going to spend a lot of time in uh, writing your research articles and uh, it will be really frustrating if your article is not formatted in a correct manner. So I hope uh, these suggestions are going to help you and they are going to help you in uh, specifically in writing your introduction. So uh, I will I will make more videos on these particular interesting topics that will help you uh, during your PhD specifically on uh, how to write the various parts of um, uh, a research article in this particular series. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video then please press the like button and uh, if you like the content of the channel then please do subscribe to the channel. This helps me to understand how many people are watching the video and how many uh, uh, are there who are interested in my content and also that motivates me to make more videos. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care.